Hi there. In this video we are going to be taking a look at this K cathode KK100 uh, lights that have built-in solar panel, motion sensor and three operating modes. This wants to show us that it's motion controlled weirdly enough that's more like a Wi-Fi signal but whatever solar panel built-in accumulator obviously uh, rainproof waterproof eh. <laughs> we will be opening them up and see what's in there around model output this is the output of the solar panel I guess 5.5 volts 1 watt battery capacity 1800 million powers <laughs> I will show you a bit later that's a lie they don't have this angle of sensor 120 degrees maybe maybe not who knows induction distance for the motion sensor so detection distance basically 3 to 5 meters brightness 600 lumens and number of LEDs 100 uh, are they 100 I hope they are 100 actually it doesn't even matter whatever for the brightness uh, I can tell you for a fact but let's first get into the box and then I will explain what I already know about these lights because I'm actually shooting this video in a, a weird order I only already know a few things about them uh, so this is the unboxing experience I got six of these units for uh, how much was it $25 so six of these for $25 even if they last, I don't know, one year or something like that, it's decent enough. If they work normally, if they don't work normally, then it's not decent. Come with this, two holes to mount them to the wall or the fence or whatever you need to, protection on the solar panel. So get this out of the way, this will probably not be required also for me. Solar panel, but decent size of it covered in some uh, transparent uh, protection in here the LEDs let me count them I'm curious how many are they yes there are a hundred LEDs so they didn't lie about that <laughs> uh, this thing I want to say it's not waterproof at all not dust proof not anything because if we look at it how can I show you actually but you will see later in the video this is not sealed so water can actually get into this thing and it's meant to come out through this little hole at the bottom and hopefully not affect the battery which you can see the outline uh, right here again hopefully not affect the battery and the electronics at least for a few years but I wouldn't count on it because humidity will get in this and it will uh, destroy everything sooner rather than later sadly so they are not that great uh, and the working modes first variant yes we have light on the panel so it will not turn on let me put it side down they are bright that is what I wanted to say about the 600 lumens I'm not sure if we have 600 lumens but they are really 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 bright and the light is white I would have preferred a yellowish right, uh, light but uh, this uh, illuminates a bit better so and now we are in the first mode which as you can see it uh, shuts off about uh, 50 sec 15 seconds later and then it's triggered by movement to power on once again full brightness and when it's off it's com completely off then we have a different mode which uh, is full brightness when it has movement and less brightness when uh, there's no movement so it's in a dim state without movement and full brightness uh, for 15 seconds and then there's this mode which basically when it's dark it's on if it's light it's off dark on this will drain the battery the, the quickest 
I think I will use this mode full brightness and off rest of the time, but this is also interesting. Uh, low brightness and full brightness when it detects movement. This one not really useful for me. And this uh, flickering that you see is only on camera because of the PWM control of the LEDs uh, for dimming in full brightness. Obviously, it's not even on camera visible. So, yeah, that's about it. Again, this is not really waterproof. One use only. Uh, battery is lithium. So I will. I don't think I will be hanging these things onto the house. I don't want the battery uh, catching fire because obviously it's quite a cheap quality one. I will put them on the metal fence. So in case this catches fire, I'm looking at some uh, fire show and uh, the house is not in danger at all. So that's about it. Next you will see some videos uh, to see the real capacity of the batteries. Uh, what's inside of this thing, how it's built, its internal quality, and then we will be putting them onto the fence. Just wanted to point out that the polarity written in here is completely wrong and the negative goes where the positive uh, is written on the plastic. So the battery goes like this with this edge right in here. So. The plastic is wrong, never mind, not that important. Let's see what this battery, if I could actually put it in here with one hand, will give us now camera focus today. So yes, we are above what we were before and hopefully this thing will decide that it's a lithium. In theory it should because it's over 3 volts already, so it should start treating it like a lithium. This value, the internal uh, resistance, I think it's a bit high. I was seeing lower normally in batteries, if I remember right. But anyway, I'm not going to let it on charge. I'm going to go to mode and let's do our current. Let's uh, leave the lowest one. Uh, let's see, normal test, 300 milliamp power to give it the best fighting chance. And I will do the same for the other one and this will take many many hours to finish but we will see the real capacity of uh, these cells. And these are the fully charged batteries. So one of them 806 million powers. That's a bit less than what they were advertising isn't it? About half. And the other one that I tested again close to 800 million powers. So I don't think these are uh, damaged. I think this is actually their real capacity. So as expected, it was a bit of a lie on the package. But for what I need to do, I still think it's enough. Not sure in the winter when it's cold because then the capacity drops. But in the summer, yeah, I think it's enough. If not, these are standard uh, uh, 18650 lithium cells you can always replace them with something a bit more beefy but I don't think it's worth it if we are looking into this thing that I opened up uh, as you can see five screws on the back absolutely no ceiling whatsoever so it just relies on, on water uh, by itself choosing to go down so from here dripping down and if anything goes inside of it it has right here at the bottom a small hole for it not a screw hole the other one under it uh, for the water to come out so this is not waterproof this is just trying to make water get out of it if it enters but hopefully not so much will enter but nothing is sealed in here so we have these plastics camera focus please let me try and show you they are all moving so absolutely nothing is sealed in here in time humidity will destroy this it's just a matter of time how fast it will happen so they are really cheap it was about 20 
and something euros for six of them so they are really cheap but the quality uh, is at the level of the cheapness honestly so i'm not even going to be attaching them directly to the house having lithium batteries i don't want them catching fire so i will be attaching them to the metal fans if they catch fire well nice fireworks but will not harm anything uh, apart from the paint on the fence which i i'm not so fond of uh, as i am to the rest of the house obviously so yeah presumably these things uh, the the white pins were supposed to be uh, heat pressed in here to keep the pcb level but no the pcb is flapping in the breeze and only contact between it and this uh, Plastic is keeping it from falling. It's, it's built to the price. So everything it's in here is as cheap as it can ever be. If you need to see the PCB better, but I don't think there's anything remotely useful on there. It is here. I don't even know if the, the solar panel is sealed to the rest of the enclosure, enclosure with that glue that it's picking right through that hole. Presumably water can even get in right around this. Anyway, if they work at least for one year, I will start replacing them one by one with something a bit better quality, honestly, and yes, obviously more expensive. But for the moment, I have six of them. Hopefully they will not fail all six of them like this. But yeah, there's that. So not upgrading the batteries from my part because the rest will probably fa fail before them opened up the other four i just wanted to make sure that the batteries are at least good before installing them okay so later same day batteries have finished charging let's see so 750 750 yes this one the second one also started to charge after a while so this is a really smart charger this litokala i will put a video with it in the description it's really smart come on Third one, 800, 730. So this, all of these cells, I'm 99.9% .9 are actually 800 milliamp power lithium cells, 18650. That's not an issue. I think that for this, they are good enough, but they lied on the packaging. But anyway, let's put them back in here and uh, be done with it. Just wanted to show you that uh, by chance I found another product that, uh, yeah, my daughter, that the other daughter, <laughs> that's using the same principle of not letting water in just uh, based on the shape. So this is uh, rain resistant. It's advertised on the product. It's uh, also from a reputable brand. And this is the only thing preventing water to go into the battery. The shape. So... Yeah, it seems it's starting to be fairly common or it was already and I didn't know about it. So, yeah, presumably that's good enough. Okay, so we have the lights working for a while. If I move, they wake up one by one. And this is the mode that uh, I left them in uh, throughout the winter because otherwise they would have just uh, shut off because they don't get enough sunlight in this period but as you can see for what i need it's honestly perfect like this we don't have any issues whatsoever okay so as you could see the lights are on one side uh, of the house three of them and on the other side of the house again three of them and they performed that well that i ended up buying another set of six for the price they are just unbeatable honestly it's it's mind-boggling for me uh, to think that they can produce them at such a low price and they are actually working okay so yeah in the winter you cannot leave them on on low light setting because it will drain the battery so you leave them in the setting where they just turn on when they uh, 
sense movement in front of them. That's how I have them. In the summer, I think you can also let uh, them on throughout the night on the low light setting. So there's that. Uh, in case you buy these things and they get drained, you need to, after a sunny day, you need to go in there and push the button once again to turn them on. So there's that. It happened to me at first when I let them on low light. Yes, they got drained after a few days with uh, no sun at all, just clouds. But on uh, off and only turning on when there's movement, they never got uh, fully drained, even if a few days we didn't have sun at all, only clouds and bad weather. So that's perfect, honestly. Uh, yes, the movement sensor isn't the most precise of um, sensors, doesn't always uh, get the movement instantly. It has a delay, maybe you could see in the video one of them wasn't turning on in instantly, but I don't care, they work. So, and they are so, 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 so cheap. So, that's about it. Hope this video explains uh, to somebody out there uh, if these things are worth buying. I consider they are, honestly. It's, yeah, you get a lot of value for the money, although they are cheap Chinese product. In this case, they are one of those uh, cheap Chinese products that are actually doing what they are supposed to be doing and are doing it well. So, hope this video helps somebody out there. As you could see, they shine a lot of light, so, so they are really bright. It's, it's quite nice, the light that they shine. Yes, it's a really white towards bluish so it's not good for atmosphere or something like that it's just to light up where you are going or something like that but anyway yeah i think uh, they are a good purchase ask whatever you need in the comments i will do my best to answer to you how they last over the years because now i'm installing also in the front and the back of the house i will have them all around and yeah that's it for this video See you in the next one. Bye.